Hey guys, welcome to Poetically Christian, the channel that's for thought and fun, while always putting God first, with Christ His Son. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Questions to Christians. And today we're going to be covering the question, how do we raise a respectful child? Ah, oh, today, and raising children. Parents have a tough job. I don't need to tell you folks. Today we live in a world where most children are not growing up knowing who God is. Most children are not growing up knowing who Jesus Christ is. For most kids and most youth today, their God is money and their Savior is fame. So how do we overcome the wiles of Satan? How do we overcome the wiles of this world and the glimmer of sin? How do we raise a respectful and godly child? Well, as usual, God's Word gives us the answers. First, we go to Proverbs, the 22nd chapter, and verse 6. There God's Word tells us to train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Yes, so much responsibility is on us as parents and guardians and family members. There's an old African saying that says, it takes a village to raise a child. Boy, isn't that true? It's going to take each and every single person within a family to do that job right. God's Word tells us that if we take the time, we take the interest, we love our children within our heart and we want them to have the best start. We do, don't we? In life, we try everything as parents or guardians or family members we try everything to help a child come along. You go out and you try to make sure that they have clothes and school supplies. You go out and you make sure they have lunch, lunches and so many other things, a roof over their head. We try our best to reach those kids and to help them get the best start that they can in life. But those are physical things. If we take that much effort and heart into making sure our child has the best start monetarily, why in the world wouldn't we take the effort to make sure they have the best start spiritually, emotionally? God's Word tells us that if we train up that child when they're young in the way that they're supposed to go, that when they're old they won't depart from it. You want to know how to raise a child? that not only is going to respect you now, but will respect you so much more later. You bring them up in God. Are we taking the time as Christians to reach the youth? The youth under our own roof and so many of the youth are out on those streets that don't know who God is. Folks, today the schools aren't going to teach your children who God is. They're not going to get it on TV. They're not going to get it in video games. It's up to you and me. It's up to Christians to teach them, to bring them up in the way they should go so when they're old, they won't leave it. Are we taking the time to teach our children who God is? Are we taking the time to let them know who Jesus Christ is? God's Word tells us in 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 15 that we are to be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks us for the reason that we have hope within us with meekness and fear. As Christians, a lot of times we think of that verse as reaching people out in the world, adults, who don't know God. But this verse is reaching everything. Every 
person, every man, woman, or child? Are we ready to answer those questions? Yes, a lot of times when we try to get a youth to come to church or read God's Word, they're going to look at it as a punishment. They're going to look at it as something they don't want to do because being a Christian, they're taught, and society isn't cool. They're taught that being a Christian is something that's lame, not fun. But are we taking the time to be ready to answer that question even of our own child? Be ready always. Are we telling them why we believe in God? Are we letting them know why God is important? Not only now, but for their life to come. Are we showing them that there's a better way? Are we teaching them the Gospels and the morals of Jesus Christ? I told us it's more blessed to give than to receive. God's Word also tells us that if a man wants to have friends, he must first show himself friendly. Are we letting our children know that? How many kids want to know how to make friends and to have more friends? Are we letting them know that if they're friendly, then they will have friends? Are we letting them know so many of the values that God's Word teaches us? You want to raise a respectful child, you raise them up in the way of the Lord. And when they're old, they're going to hold on to those values. They're going to be ingrained into their mind and in their heart. They're going to realize that other people matter in this life. It's going to teach them compassion. It's going to put them on the right track. Yeah, we try so hard in life to make sure they have everything to have a good start. Why won't we make sure they have God so that they can have a spiritual head start? But God's Word doesn't stop there. We go to Ephesians, the sixth chapter, verses one through four. This is addressed to children themselves. Verses 1 through 3 tells us there that children are to obey their parents, for this is right. To honor your father and mother, and you're going to live long on the earth. But by verse 4, it puts it back on the parents, especially fathers. Fathers, you are to bring up your children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Yes, folks, if we reach our children, we train them up in the way they should go when they're young. When they're old, they're not going to depart from it. If you train them up when they're young, they're going to come when they're older to the realization that they need to obey you. Because that's what's right. That's what God's Word has taught them. And they'll know. When they're old, they're going to honor and respect you and realize that they will live long on the earth and have a more fulfilling life. And when they're parents, they'll do the same for their children. And parents, fathers, but it really goes for us all. Bring your children up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Notice how Paul uses the word nurture. It's up to us to nurture them in the ways of the Lord to train them up, to make them realize how great God is. That God gives them everything that they enjoy in life. The music, the games, the TV shows, their friends, their family. Are we letting them know that God gives them all those things? Do we bow our head before a meal to show them that God comes first and He gives us everything we have? You see, it's up to us to bring up our children, the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. It's up to us to nurture them in their young Christian life. To nurture them, and when they're old, they're not going to depart from it. No, they're going to have that admonition for God. And they're going to pass it on to their children. Have you ever noticed in life how children that don't grow up with God a lot of times. Or if one person falls away from God, it causes a domino effect. 
Let's say someone never goes to church or falls away from church and no longer deems God to be important in their life. Not only does it affect that life, but it affects the children they have and the grandchildren and right on down the line. It starts a precedent that God is not important, that God is only a fairy tale. Jesus Christ, in the last words that he gave his disciples in Matthew 28, 19 and 20, told us to go and teach all nations, didn't he? Teach them to observe all things which I have commanded you, and lo, I'll be with you always. Why did Christ say that? Because he wanted you to pass on what you've learned. Train them up in the way they should go, and when they're old, they won't depart from it. Bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. You raise a godly child now. They learn who God is. They learn respect when they're young. And when they're old, they'll still respect you as a parent. They'll respect God. And on that final judgment day, they'll have the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. And I believe as parents or a guardian or a family member, that's what we all want. Our children to have the best things in life. Well, folks, if we do our job right while we're here, they can have the best things in an eternal life. I hope this answered the question for you of how to raise a respectful child, not only now, but in the life to come, and how they can have an eternal life. If you enjoyed this video, then won't you click the like button? And if you'd like to continue following us here on this channel, remember to hit that red subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any video that we release, Remember to click that bell icon and turn on those notifications so you won't miss a thing. Thank you for joining us and Lord willing, we hope to see you in the next video. Until then, blessed wishes.